Vice President Professor Yemi Oshibajo is sold out on having people-centered economic models across Africa. And with an opportunity given to address African scholars, professionals, alumni and students at the Harvard Business School, Oshimajo spoke about translating economic growth into improved living standards on the continent. Correspondent Maria Olashengi reports. Vice President Yemi Oshibajo is here at the Harvard Business School, Boston, United States, on an invitation by the school to deliver the inaugural keynote lecture on Africa Rising with the theme Understanding Business, Entrepreneurship and the Complexities of a Continent. Of our people. Nigeria's vice president does not mince words, insisting that Africa needs businessmen and women with a pan-African vision to accelerate the continent's future economic transformation. This is the first time that the African-focused course will be offered at Harvard Business School. Vice President Yemi Oshibajo took time to highlight the successes of the Buhari administration in improving the country's economy. Oshibajo acknowledged that for Africa to rise to its next level, the business environment must be made favorable to local investors. Professor Shibajo is of the view that any discourse about Africa should be about improving standards of governance. He charges African leaders to take the lead by pursuing people-centered economic models. And so the preeminent challenge that now confronts uh, Africa's leadership today, girl-child education, the education of, of, of women in many, many parts of Africa is lagging behind and is very, very far behind. Markets, of course, have helped to free up ideas and to attract capital. But the poor, the vulnerable, are still in their millions. So the imperative of a social state of sorts, or at least safety nets, is obvious. Our administration in Nigeria recognized this and put in place a $500 billion, that's about $1.5 billion social investment fund. And the program, you know, is one which is meant to uh, be the beginnings of, of some kind of, of a safety net. Very important lessons are to be learned from Africa's phenomenal growth. But Vice President Yemi Oshibajo believes the most crucial is that economic growth is not sustainable without nation building. For Africa rising to mean anything, to the majority of our people, these issues must be addressed. And not on paper, not in classrooms, but on the ground, in homes, in communities, in the wallets and purses, as they say, of the most vulnerable citizens. As uh, President Buhari put it in September 2017, when our National Bureau of Statistics announced that Nigeria had emerged from recession, uh, he said until coming out of recession translates into meaningful improvement in the lives of our people, uh, work cannot be said uh, to be done. And I think we ought to say the same about Africa rising until our citizens have themselves acknowledged the rising, especially in the quality of their lives. He pledges that Nigeria will be at the forefront of proffering solutions on how to make the continent work better for its people and the rest of the world. Maria Olashendi, TVC News, Boston.